former IPS officer YP Singh targeting the Pawar clan as well as Arvind Kejriwal. YP Singh also went ahead and said that Arvind Kejriwal did not share most of the information that he knows was available to him at his press conference yesterday, where, as the country now knows, he selected to only target Nitin Gadkari. YP Singh coming out with several allegations. Remember, yesterday he had told headlines today that Kejriwal had actually come to him earlier this year for advice and for information on various aspects of these allegations on corruption against both Nitin Gadkari as well as the Pawar clan, the very powerful Pawar clan led by Patriarch Sharad Pawar, the country's agriculture minister, leader of the NCP. But YP Singh, a former IPS officer who is now an activist and lawyer himself and a public interest lawyer at that, has now trained his guns not just at the Pawar clan, but also at Arvind Kejriwal himself. He's put down hard questions. Why has Arvind Kejriwal gone after Nitin Gadkari for what he calls a minor technicality and not full-fledged corruption when the information that YP Singh provided to Arvind Kejriwal for what was supposed to have been that second bombshell pertained mostly to the Pawar clan. YP Singh also saying, insinuating and saying that the Pawars are close to both Arvind Kejriwal perhaps, but certainly to Anna Hazare. And that's why during this entire anti-corruption movement that we've seen over the last year, year and a half, the Pawars have not been taken on directly. But Manish Sisodia coming out just moments ago to tell headlines today that they have fasted against corruption of all uh, Indian politicians, including Sharad Pawar and his family. Manish Sisodia also saying that India Against Corruption has documents against Sharad Pawar as well. He didn't say that they would release them or put out the information in a press conference. But he said he had no answer as to why. The moot question right now. Why would YP Singh, one of Kejriwal's advisors and lawyers, or so he claims, would come out and directly target his own client, Arvind Kejriwal. Is there more to it than that? Is it, does it have much more to do with the political ambitions of Kejriwal? Insinuations and allegations flying thick and fast. YP Singh has become another man holding a gun in this entire contest. The BJP, the Congress, Arvind Kejriwal, and now YP Singh comes in as well to take a shot. Preeti Sharma Menon. A member of India Against Corruption is with us live. We've already heard Manish Sisodia. Preeti is with us now. Preeti, what is this about? Why is YP Singh coming out and saying these things against Kejriwal? Forget about what he said about Pawar. The insinuations at Kejriwal, Mr. Kejriwal, are extremely serious, Preeti. Are they? I mean, I don't see anything serious about the insinuations here. Uh, he is suggesting that he shared data with Kejriwal. The whole country is sharing data with us. It's amazing how much data is available on the corruption of various politicians. And we are very glad that people are bringing it out. So it's very good that he's brought out data. And uh, there must be an inquiry into this. Uh, that's what I would like to say. Let's get in a word from our Mumbai Bureau Chief. Uh, Sahil Joshi is with me on the phone line. Quick reaction. Sahil, what are the, what are the noises you're hearing uh, in, in the political class in Mumbai about what you've seen today? YP Singh, press conference attacking both the Pawars as well as Kejriwal. He's almost become a sort of fourth node in what was so far a triangular fight between Kejriwal, the BJP and the Congress. It was very surprising that suddenly YP Singh uh, suddenly came out and uh, said that uh, he wanted to make some, some allegations against uh, a senior minister, which he actually uh, uh, said that it's Sharad Pawar today in the afternoon. But before that, he had also given a statement saying that uh, the matter which uh, yesterday uh, Arvind Kejriwal came out with uh, uh, Anjali, uh, uh, Anjali Damania, yes. that, uh, that, that matter is pretty technical and there is nothing. It's a very small matter compared to the Lawasa Corporation uh, scam, he, which he claims that he has unearthed today. Yes. Uh, so one way he has supported Nitin Gadkari and said that, uh, that the kind of expose which uh, um, Kejriwal is claiming is basically not kind of... It's not even an expose. It's a technical matter. And as per Supreme Court uh, ruling, uh, once the land has been taken from the farmers, not they return back to them. So uh, one way he's supposed 
supporting Gachari and saying yes. that uh, the exposure is not exposure. And at, the, uh, at the other hand, what he's coming out with is already being reported so many years hmm. that Sharad Pawar, Lawasa Corporation, the case is already in the Supreme Court. And suddenly he's coming out with that and saying that uh, Arvind Pindiwal is targeting specifically some people and uh, deliberately not targeting some people. That is what is the allegation he's coming out with against uh, Kejriwal. And the same thing uh, against Nitin Gadkari, he is saying that w whatever has happened in the Gadkari case is not actually an expose. It's just a technical matter and uh, it's being both blown out of proportion by the Kejriwal and team. So this is what is something which I think is being discussed in Mumbai right now, that why suddenly White Singh is supporting Nitin Gadkari and going against uh, Arvind Kejriwal. Sahil, thanks for getting us that insight from where it stands with the entry of YP Singh, former IPS officer. Preeti Sharma Menon, uh, it's a double whammy for India against corruption, this press conference by YP Singh. On the one hand, he's virtually given a clean chit to Nitin Gakkari, saying it's a minor technical problem. It's not, you know, large-scale corruption as alleged by Mr. Kejriwal and India against corruption. And on the other hand, the much more serious allegation that India against corruption is being selective. The insinuation is that perhaps you want to damage certain people and want to protect certain people. Your response, ma'am. Let me give you a categoric response. India against corruption is set out to expose corruption in every walk of life against every party and the scam whether it seems insignificant to someone Gadkari may call it chiller Beni Prasad might say it's only 70 lakhs yes. we think every scam deserves an inquiry we think every uh, encroachment which they have done on the life of the people of this country has to be inquired against and punishment has to be meted out so we are not selective at all Sharad Pawar is a mudda which we bought out when Arun sat on Anshan he sat on Anshan against Sharad Pawar and another 14 ministers and the Lavasa Ghut was one of the scams that we had mentioned right then. So I don't think that there is any, even for a moment in IAC, a doubt that we will expose every scam that we encounter. We are saying they are all one. NCP, BJP, Congress, uh, SP, DMK, we are saying okay. they are all one. They are looting the country. So we support YP Singh's fight against Sharad Pawar completely. We are with him on it and if he has the data and he uh, he demands an inquiry. We support him and we are very delighted that more and more people are coming out and exposing scams. Okay. Now, that's one part of your answer. Yeah. The second answer on why he's targeting Kejriwal, well, I think taking Kejriwal's name brings everybody into the news. So everyone takes Kejriwal's name. So today, I mean, anything that happens anywhere, everybody says, where is Kejriwal? So you have one solution to all the country's panic years that you go to Kejriwal and he'll solve them. It's very heartening, but it's a very big responsibility that I'm afraid that we can't shoulder as yet. We will try our best, but we can't solve everyone's problems. People are pouring in from the nation with scams. And we are trying our best. We are looking at each and every okay. paper and we will come out with everything that we think demands an inquiry. Okay, uh, Preeti Sharma Menon, you've just insinuated that YP Singh has used Kejriwal's name because that, it, that would attract more publicity and perhaps give his allegations uh, a little more grounding, a little more publicity, a larger audience. Preeti, the, the allegations that YP Singh makes, uh, you know, it's not just about taking Arvind Kejriwal's name. You know, if India Against Corruption and YP Singh have been working together sharing information all this while, why would he make such a specific allegation that Arvind Kejriwal has withheld certain information? YP Singh isn't, you know, a discredited person. He's a person who's been associated with the movement. Why would he come out at this stage and say something like this? Uh, Manish Sisodia says he has no idea. I respect YP Singh, but there must be something to it. See, when IAC started as a movement, a lot of people joined the movement and a lot of people left the movement. We are not an organization. Yes. So we don't have so much control over what each one of us does. And many people have different opinions at different points of time. So there are certain things which YP Singh and we may think alike on. There are certain issues where he may be thinking differently from and therefore he probably distanced himself from actively being involved in the movement. These are questions you have to put to him because we really don't have an answer to that. We respect him. He did contribute to the movement. We hope more and more people like him come and join the movement and stay with us longer. That's all we can say. We have no issues with him at all. I do Has not it been embarrassing though? It was unexpected. 
not at all i mean you really see the movement so many people have joined the movement and left the movement over the last one and a half year because it's an andolan and many more will join and many more will leave once yes we become a party and there is official membership then maybe there'll be more consistency and accountability but as of now this is an organic reaction that came from the nation yes. and people just joined in large numbers for one cause corruption in other issues there may be differences which he may have but we really don't have any issue i mean ejriwal has no issue with yp singh and we are really surprised with what he's saying we have no reaction to it you must ask him okay we will in indeed ask him preeti sharma men and appreciate you taking the time out and speaking to us this evening here on headlines today no differences with yp singh is what india against corruption says kejriwal has uh, in a way been attacked by yp singh today his motives have been questioned but india against corruption putting up a brave face at this moment putting aside any potential embarrassment and saying they're all part of the same movement both sides want sharad pawar and the entire pawar clan to be out of the establishment